Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between drag and drop and drag and drop by Selenium WebDriver commands? Let me answer. First, let's go with the drag and drop by command in Selenium WebDriver. Using this command, we can move the element either horizontally or vertically, okay? Horizontally to the left side or right side. Vertically to the top or bottom with the help of X and Y offset. If you provide X offset in this command, you can move the element horizontally. If you provide Y offset in this command, you can move the element vertically, okay? That is drag and drop by. What about this other command, which I am comparing with this drag and drop by? That is drag and drop. It doesn't have just extra by is there here. By is not there here. Okay. In this command, we have to provide two elements. One is source element. Other one is target element. Source element is the element which you are going to drag and drop onto the target element. Okay. Here two elements you have to provide in drag and drop. So source element is the element that you are going to drag or move onto the target element. Okay. So this is what is here. No X and Y offset. Here, two elements. One element is going to be dragged and dropped onto the other element. Okay. That's why in this drag and drop, we have to provide two elements. Whereas in drag and drop by, you have to specify X offset or Y offset. If you provide X offset, the element will be moved horizontally. If you provide Y offset, the element will be moved vertically. Okay. So, hope guys, you understood what exactly is the difference between these two commands. But now, let me practically demonstrate these commands for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where some sample Selenium automation code is already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window. And here I need to open the application URL for demonstrating this drag and drop by with the help of offset, X and Y offsets. I have taken this URL and copy this URL and paste it here. Okay. I'll show you that uh, URL first. Okay. How the application page looks like with that URL. So this is a URL where you have this uh, kind of slider. So I'll take this element, consider this is the element. If I want to move this element horizontally to the right side, I have to provide X offset. How to provide that X offset, okay, is the thing. So I already have copied the URL of this application. Now simply I need to drag this element to the right side horizontally by providing the X offset. Right click on this element, inspect, Let's create an XPath expression or something to locate that uh, this slider option. So it may have something like a price minimum label is there. Copy this anchor tag, control F, double slash A, at the rate hash pick, you can give any tag is equal to give the value. It will locate no problem. Okay. Your hash tag means any tag, or you can give the tag name also. If you remember the tag name like area hyphen labeled by, you can give the tag name also or I don't want to waste my time. So I'm just directly giving this. This has located this element already You see, Copy this element, copy this XPath expression and create a web element. Driver.find element by dot uh, XPath, provide the XPath expression here. And uh, here I'll say min label element, create a web element out of it. Out of it. And now do one thing, min label, dot drag uh, so how to use this uh, drag and drop by can i directly use like this no this drag and drop by okay drag and drop by and this uh, drag and drop commands belong to the actions class so mouse actions class okay simulation of the mouse you can see using the mouse you are dragging and dropping right so first you have to create an object for actions 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 is equal to new actions like this Put a semicolon and here you pass a driver, this particular web driver's driver. Import this actions class from Selenium library. After that, write down actions dot. Now you'll get this command, okay? Drag and drop by. Here you have to provide the web element that is minimum label element. And this is X offset, this is a Y offset. For example, here I only would like to provide the X offset like 100. Y offset I'm not providing. Over the mouse, it will give you the details. First one is X offset, other one is Y offset, okay? I want to move horizontally, so I am specifying only the horizontal offset, X offset. 
vertically if you want to move if there is a possibility to move this option vertically then give this zero and give the y offset here okay for this particular command of the actions class to work you have to end that with dot perform otherwise it is not going to work okay now run this code right click run as so before running just refresh the page and observe where exactly this element is at 200 points it's there now run this right click run as the application it will move by 100 pixels okay horizontally it will move by 100 pixels so it will not be 200 anymore it will be something different more than 200 you see it became 370 200 to 370 okay so 100 pixels here this is in points uh, whatever i gave is in pixels so it differs okay don't expect it to be 300 okay so this is points, number of points, uh, whatever I'm giving is a pixels here, okay? So this is what is drag and drop by. Hope you understood how to move an element or drag and drop an element with the help of uh, uh, offset, okay? For that, we have to use drag and drop by command. So what if I would like to drag one element to another element, onto the another element, then we have to use other command that is drag and drop command. So this drag and drop also will belong, also belongs to the actions class. So for this, I'll take you to another application for demonstrating that I'll take you to this application. I'll show you how the application looks like here. This is how the application looks like. Okay, what I want to do is I want to drag this Oslo and drop onto this Norway. Okay, Oslo capital, I would like to drop, dra, dra, drop this onto the Norway country. Okay, so how to do that? For that, first I'll copy this URL of the application where these options are available and paste it here. I'll change this URL here. Done. That first thing is done, guys. Then I have to create the web elements for source element and target. Source is the Oslo. Oslo source need to be dropped onto the Norway target. Right click on the Oslo. Right click on the Oslo and inspect. You get the HTML code for Oslo. It has an ID. Box one. Copy this. Create a web element here. Whatever dot. Find element by dot ID. Provide the ID of the Oslo. Put a semicolon here, that's it. Just say Oslo element, okay, for the mouse, create. Then one more, that is Norway, right click, inspect this Norway. Uh, it has box 101 as ID, copy this, and create the web element driver.find element by dot ID. Give the ID locator of the Norway country. And here, simply say Norway element. element is equal to okay create the web element out of it now we have the source element and target element now using the same actions actions is equal to new actions and here i need to call this method known as actions dot drag and drop normal command not drag and drop by drag and drop here two elements i have to provide source element and target source element i'll provide as post element and target this is the target i'll provide the norway element as the target element and at the end i have to say perform otherwise this command of actions class without perform is not going to work. Now run this and see that Oslo will be dragged and dropped down to the Norway element. Okay. So I have run it. I have run it. Let's see, observe. Oslo element will be dragged down to the Norway element in a while. Oslo will be dragged and dropped down to the Norway. You see, Oslo got dragged and dropped down to the Norway with the help of this command known as drag and drop command. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That is what is the difference between drag and drop and drag and drop by Selenium WebDriver commands. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.